welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all in my ayurveda academy youtube channel this channel is for the students for the medical doctors for the patients as well as for the common man myself is professor dr r r deshpande i am md in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology that is kaya chikitsa and sharira kriya or kriya shari today's topic is a small pox yes yes i know that many people are not happy with this topic because they everybody knows as a common sense that smallpox is not existing nowadays anywhere in the india as well as never even in the whole planet there is no smallpox cases active smallpox cases right now okay but still i would like to tell you that i don't know why but central council of indian medicine ccim has included this particular smallpox topics in the subject of kaya chikitsa for fourth year bams so this is a lecture for these particular students for their interest if the by chance question is asked on the smallpox they must know this historical type of the disease so let us start to discuss but before that let me tell you that for paid online consultation or paid online classes you can whatsapp me on 9226810630 so let us start to discuss about smallpox this is kaya chikitsa that is internal medicine lecture for fourth year bams students as well as for the practicing doctors if they are interested to know this about historical type of the disease uh, this is based on the ccrm central council of indian medicine syllabus paper 1 part b point number 1 fever fever in ayurveda it is called as jwar don't forget this word jwar huh? and one of the topic small topic is smallpox by chance even in the saq you will be asked to write down about smallpox so smallpox is nothing but variola v a r i o l a this is highly contagious viral disease rather it was it is not 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 existing right now please note note this point the smallpox is not existing not a single patient will come as a case of smallpox in your medical practice don't worry about it this is only theoretical important for your kai chikitsa subject there is a diaphagic febrile episode diaphagic febrile means fever and skin eruptions were also there india is now free of smallpox in december 1979 in 1980 the who world health organization also declared that smallpox had been eradicated currently there is no evidence of naturally occurring smallpox transmission of anywhere in the world now the causes cause is of course the virus closely related to vaccinia and cowpox this smallpox virus affects all ages and both genders male and female occurs in epidemic sometimes in endemic more spread okay epidemic is a local type of spreading but endemic is a major or more part of the geographical area is covered unvaccinated persons are more susceptible incubation period 7 to 16 days and quarantine period should be 18 days was there of course smallpox pathogenesis spreads by droplet infection or by contamination with materials from the skin lesions after penetration this particular virus localizes in nearby lymph nodes and followed by in liver and as well as spleen after incubation period viremia very important word viremia occurs amia means blood carefully note this point e m a a amia means blood uh, and viremia means blood with this particular virus and spread to the skin and mucous membrane this is prodromal period beginning period antibody will be formed in the blood next stage virus after disappearing from blood continues to multiply in the skin multiply in the lungs and multiply in the brain initial 
cutaneous means skin lesion is epidermal necrosis with capillary dilatation that is macule in the same lesions epidermis will proliferate then there is a papule that is and the next is vacuolate that is vesicles when there is a little bit fluid inside the papule that is vesicles that is vacuolate vesicles invaded by polymorphs and transformed into the pustule remember polymorphs means neutrophils and these are uh, raised when there is a bacterial infection so naturally pus will form in the vesicle in the particular fluid and then that lesion skin lesion is called as a pustule so there will be macule papule vesicle and pustule pustule means meet pus masses of virus particles appear as ternary bodies in the cytoplasm of cells remember these virus particles are present in the cytoplasm of cells clinical features onset will be sudden rather it was sudden when there was a smallpox high fever patient was restlessness was there headaches severe backache cough vomiting and prostration prodromal rash was irregular macules in axilla and inguinal region then widespread purpuric rash purpura variolosa or black smallpox rash appears on the third day and temperature drop down with the it that means whenever the rash appears the temperature was going down initial eruption is macular first appears on the forehead and wrist then arm then trunk and then on the legs eruptions were at that of course when there was smallpox dense in extremity these eruptions are always dense in extremities within few hours macules turn into papules and after 3 days papules turn into vesicles step by step smallpox eruptive stage rashes will be there the vesicles are multi locular these are numbers there are numbers of septi it is a plural septi running from the center and going to periphery so vesicles are umbilicated this is a typical feature of smallpox vesicles are umbilicated on pricking there is a partial collapse and clear fluid will come out there will be there is rather marked itching when this particular pustule vesicles are there itching is severe in this stage again temperature rises which is called as a secondary pustular fever second time fever rises secondary pustular fever in 10 days pustules dry up with formation of scabs scabs separate after few days leaving behind pitted scars and temperature comes down so this is a typical up and down up and down top of fever and the most important is a bad looking scar on the faces even although the smallpox has gone but there are some patients may be rarely found around us which are having the smallpox scars on their faces okay so smallpox complication different organs are affected heart there will be heart failure or myocarditis lungs there may be pneumonia inflammation of the lung parenchyma brain there will be inflammation encephalitis bone viral osteomyelitis in the eye there may be corneal ulcer or loss of vision investigations wbc leukocyte means white blood cells count low initially because it is a viral but whenever there is a super added bacterial infection that white blood cell count increases when there is a pustular eruption pustular means pus remember always microscopic examination of fluid from eruption show that specific garnery bodies remember this typical word of regarding the smallpox complement fixation test is positive agar gel diffusion test is also positive now the treatment at that time what was given first is a curative nothing specific isolation of the patient liquid diet with high protein content care of the skin care of the eyes by soothing lotions that is liquid paraffin drops for the eyes 
antibiotic from the fourth day to prevent the secondary infection and of course the other symptomatic treatment smallpox is globally eradicated in 1980 worldwide it is no more now india's first record of smallpox history can be found in a medical book that dates back ad 400 okay in india beliefs created this particular smallpox is created a goddess in response to its exposure to smallpox the hindu goddess sheetala was both worshipped and feared during her reign the name of the goddess was sheetala devi smallpox it is believed that sheetala goddess was both evil and kind and had the ability to inflict the victims when angered as well as calm the fever of the already afflicted patients so both those things are possible with the sheetala goddess when she is good she is good when she is angry that is a problem then portraits of the goddess show her holding a broom in her right hand to continue to move the disease and a pot of cool water in the other hand in an attempt to soothe giving the soothing effect to the victims because there is a too much eating and burning soothing effect to the victim so cold water was there is there and also broom is also there shrines were created of sheetala devi or goddesses where many india natives both healthy and not went to worship and attempt to protect themselves from that particular deadly disease smallpox so my dear friends this is a historical what you can say the things about smallpox but as this is a part of the kai chikitsa subject of fourth year bms i have made this video this is according to ccm syllabus paper 1 part b point number 1 a big topics fever or jwar and one of the sub topic is smallpox by chance at your examination saq may be asked write note on smallpox as this is a educational video disclaimer and vaidhanik ishara kaun si bhi bimari mein yathavashyak yathakal vaidhyik ki salah lena bahut hi zarurat hai if you are suffering from cerebral palsy arthritis diabetes heart problem mnd neurological problem alzheimer etc cancer attention deficit hyperactive disorders idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura or any such type of the chronic or autoimmune diseases you may please contact to ayurveda academy by whatsapp on 9226810630 for paid online consultation and paid online bms classes so please like this video and also share this video but do not forget i request all the time don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and also press the button icon so you will get intimated every time whenever i upload any video okay so thank you very much i wish all the best take care sarve bisukina santu sarve santu niramaya all the best